We've come to 1990, the year that the Hubble telescope was launched, Nelson Mandela was released from prison, and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air first aired on television. And for us cyclists, Shimano released STI Shifting, which stands for Shimano's Total Integration. And it was a technology that moved our gear levers from the awkward down tube position up onto the handlebars of our bikes, combined in with our brake levers. And for us road cyclists, it was a complete game changer. So we're gonna take a journey through space and time to find out more about this technology. teleported into the 1980s and as you can see I'm wearing what represents the absolute pinnacle of cycling fashion at the time and previous to the invention of the STI lever road racing was incredibly different. Riders would have to take their hands off of the handlebars and put them down by the shifter on the down tube to change gear, a process that left riders vulnerable to attack from their competition as they were changing gear. You couldn't even brake and change gear at the same time, you couldn't ride out of the saddle and change gear, it was just a slow process and anything that required two hands on the handlebars meant that you couldn't change gear. But we've got our friends, the mountain bikers, to thank for one of their great inventions, which was rapid fire shifting. It was 1989 when Shimano took the internal workings from the rapid fire shifters and transferred them into what we know as STI levers. We have Phil Anderson and Jesper Skippy who were test pilots of this technology and the Japanese Shimano engineers would follow them around to all of the races and after every single race they would strip apart the STI levers and check all of the components and ratchet mechanisms inside. And this is what led to 1990 and the creation of the STI shifter, the Durace 7400. The technology inside these STI levers from 1990 is very similar to what we have inside current and modern Durace 11 speed 9000 shifters. We've got a combined brake and shift lever here that when moved across adds cable tension to the system and therefore moves the derailleur up the cassette into a larger sprocket. Then we have this smaller lever tucked behind the brake lever which we can click and that releases cable tension from the system and then moves the derailleur down the cassette into a smaller sprocket. Upon their introduction to road racing, STI levers completely changed the game. Riding for the 711 team, Davis Finney actually credited two of his stage wins to the technology at the Tour de Trump. I know, Donald Trump had a bike race. It was an incredibly different time back then. Phil Anderson, one of the original test riders of STI levers, actually won the Queen stage in the 1991 Tour de France. And this highlighted just how superior this technology was to its predecessor, friction shifters. It wasn't just that shift in functionality though. The invention of the STI lever also changed the shape of our brake levers here and ergonomics was thoroughly improved. If you compare the shape of the old style levers to our STI levers, you can see why the riders would spend so much time riding down the drops and up on the tops of the handlebars because this shape just isn't very comfortable. If you compare that to our modern STI lever here, we've got a far more ergonomic and comfortable design and is the reason why riders spend 80 to 90% of the time riding on the hoods. Further to this still, Shimano have refined and changed the engineering and design of STI levers over time. I mean, for now, we haven't got externally rooted cables, we've got completely redesigned lever faces and they're made from carbon fiber on the latest uh, Durace iterations. And just the materials in general have changed over time. Here we've got this sort of shiny plastics and clunky shapes and designs, whereas now we've got exotic materials and the such like. We quite often talk about trickle down technology and this is the perfect example. We've got what was the absolute pinnacle of technology in 1990, whereas now this Durace is comparable to the modern day entry level Sora. I mean, even if I look at this Tiagra lever here, this is actually better than what represented the pinnacle of technology in 1990. Amazing. And with STI shifters allowing riders to spend far more time on the hoods, it's changed the whole geometries of our bikes. Bike fitters are now spending more time optimizing the position of our hoods to enable us to be as comfy and efficient as aerodynamic as possible. The 
The shape of our STI levers has evolved over time. The ergonomics have been revised and improved, the number of speeds has increased, and the lever throw is shorter and lighter than ever before. But fundamentally, the internal workings remain the same. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at STI levers and why not let us know your thoughts on the technology in the comments section down below. And don't forget, keep an eye out for our other Seismic Shifts videos where we'll be looking at more iconic Shimano technology. That's it for now. See you later.